like I say, a lot of people said it was faked. It was faked because, like I say, they there's a lot of people at the radio station, and they had a lot of credible evidence saying that they faked the the conversation because they're like, we are now talking to the to the astronauts. <laughs> this is Gus Grissom or whatever. Blah blah. They they did this thing on the radio. They played it on the radio, so people thought that they were active. There was actually a spaceship up, up in space, but the spaceship had actually launched twenty to forty years beforehand. And actually been launched from like Russia or something like that. The skunk works or whatever. It was actually the sewer department. And it was actually the, that was a symbol of a, of, a, of, a, of a floor mat that they put inside of outhouses. They made an outhouse for, um, for a floor mat for out, outhouses that kind of, it was a scented plastic. So it smelled, so it gave off a smell that actually later on turned out to be toxic. <laughs> But but the uh, but 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 we're but they're trying to work on because you know how floor mats on in outhouses always smell like piss, so they were actually working on a scented, a scented. Uh, they'd actually gotten a grant from me for working on a scented plastic, so so the outhouses wouldn't sell it, smell like piss when you walk in walk into them. So they were working on a a floor mat, and that's why they use the skunk system uh, symbol because it was for outhouses, you know, and you you know you know outhouses smell, so skunk smell, so. So we thought it was going to be kind of cute to have a skunk, you know, a skunk symbol in the, in the floor mat, you know. And so it was a floor mat for, for outhouses that would, um, that would stop the, pit, the, the urine smell. So that's what that company actually did, and that's what they, what, they, what they were doing. They were making the floor mat and the outhouses, and they had gotten grant money to do that. And so, and they were like the leading manufacturer of outhouses and floor mats for the, for the, you know, those mobile outhouses that you go and drop off at, at job sites. That's what they did. They draw, they, they, they would, they would make the floor mat for it, you know, so, because they used to have wooden floors or something like that. And basically the floor mat, the rubber floor mat would go in there and it had the skunk on there. And so, and theoretically, if you peed on it, you know, it wouldn't smell so bad and it could be washable and all that other stuff. Because I think the floors might have been made out of wood or something, or some other material or something, and then later on they switch over to plastic and all that other stuff because the floors were rotting out eventually. So anyway, because the wood because wood absorbs the smell of pee really well. Like 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 like, like if if you let pee drop on uh, get on get on get on wood, you'll never get the smell out. It'll just always you know you always walk in and oh man, somebody's been going pissing there, no matter what. So we developed this rubber floor mat that was really expensive that would go in there and so when you drip water and then the guy could go in there and wash it off and it wouldn't get on the wood so anyway that's what that company what the skunk works actually did anyway so so anyway so um and and but but nixon was doing this whole like lockheed skunk works oh you know because he was he had, he had already he had bought that company or bankrupted them or stolen all the money from the accounts or something like that and said well they went out of business um uh, and he had actually taken all the all the money from the company and like seized the accounts or so I don't know something bad. You have to look it up. It's under national security, of course. You know, yeah, you, you'll find all the all this stuff under national security. It's national security, and you know, top secret. Anyway, yeah, it's Nixon. So that's all that what Nixon did basically is you know he was like you know he's going around saying top secret on TV, top secret. You know, it's funny when he says it, everyone takes it seriously. When I say it, everyone laughs and goes, he's fucking nuts. It's like, well, no, actually, Nixon was fucking nuts. But anyway, I, it took me years to uncover all this. Like, it took like 30 years to before we found out about all this shit. You know, when he finally posted the videos, then we found out, well, we kind of knew a little bit, but not that much. Like I said, I was kind of busy with other things. And so I didn't even know it already had happened. And so until it was too late and uh, years had gotten past and, and he had already killed well I kind of knew at the time when he was killing the people at the mission control we were trying to stop it but you know I mean they had people on the ground and they had it, and they had already had it planned out 40 years beforehand they had the next 80 to, to 160 years planned out with how with who they were going to kill and how many people they were going to kill to make it look you know for America to take power and to and then eventually of course they planned on killing everyone Nixon planned to kill everyone in, in year 2000. All this happened like 19, 1890 or something like that. And then they planned my death. And they also planned on killing everybody on Earth by year 2000. So basically the computers at NORAD would be, would be going tick, 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 t
Y2K was set up like 150 years beforehand and it was just ticking down this whole time until year 2000 and then tick, the missiles are launching and then they launch and then of course Russia and everyone else launches Nixon knew that, that, that they'd probably be kicked out by the time, or the JFK knew that he'd probably be kicked out, and the jig was basically up. So he set it all up just before he got kicked out of office. So, so he could be kicking back and 80 years old and watching the end of the world. He's dead now or close to death. So he didn't care. He had killed, he had raped, he had made love, he had conquered... He had done everything he ever wanted, kind of. Mostly he tried for 40 years. Well, there were three generations of JFK, so so he wasn't, you know, the, the three generations of, of clones tried to get this thing going, and then it finally kicked off around the third or last one, and realistically he just, they just finally went nuts and just started killing everyone. And that's why... Rodney Briley and everyone else was so sure that I was going to die when I was when I was nine years old, because I knew about the plan. I knew what they're going to do. And when I was nine years old or five years old, I told my people, I said, they're going to kill all of you. And just basically let the cat out of the bag that somebody was going to kill all of us or all, everybody on Earth, pretty much. And technically, I kind of saved everybody because I was like, look around. There's someone out there. They're going to kill all of us. One of the, one of the countries is going to kill all of us. Or call it, kill all of you, I said. So I hit the panic button when I was um, when I was like nine, eight, six years old or something. And once they started looking, once they started digging, you know, you know, like I said, the, the, the Republican and, and, and the Democrat and everything, little like wall that covered up everything was one of those walls where it was like a card wall where if you just went even a little bit if you start digging around at all in the in, in the republicans and the, and the united states government if you start even looking at all at john mccain or richard nixon or any of them if you just start looking at where they've been or any of the stuff the whole thing just goes like <clears throat> because it is so big and so decayed and just so much bad stuff it's like this giant pustule that if you just go it'll go you know right at you and it's just because there's so much that they've covered up. <laughs> if you look at John McCain, where he's been, or, or Richard Nixon, where he's been, or look at any of the stuff, you will see a massive amount of rape, killing, and death. Just no one was looking. Everybody thought that they were honest and whatever. And they had left no witnesses. If you look at uh, USF, USAF uh, group, you'll notice that every you notice that they had been to France and Germany and you'll notice that everyone died at those two bases about the same time that, that, that they got there. If you look at travel plans or travel, travel arrangements or departures and coming back when they were like 20 years old, when that guy who, is, who does that little speech, la 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 la, you know, oh yeah, we talked about la la, you, you know, he does, he does infomercials and, and basically, and like I said, if you actually turn around the auditorium, he stands up on it, they film a stage and he talks on the stage and then if you turn the camera around, you'll actually see there's only like three people in the whole audience. And they actually do it. To, they pay. They put it to pay per, per, per view, and they actually make money off of the, um, off of off of the off of the commercials. But there's not actually any money being made off the commercials. They're actually just stealing money that should be going to to to, to whatever, and they're actually just taking money because 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 uh, the, the the commercials. You know, it's only what the companies will pay, for the TV ad spots. So it's actually this great big huge thing of of how JFK and Nixon and everyone has been doing this huge scam. Because commercials don't really make any money. You don't actually get money, paid money off the commercials. It's only what the companies feel like paying you. So, and it's based on their total profit. So they're just stealing money like crazy because, you know, there's no direct, direct money exchange. It's just maybe they see the commercials and actually think that, think to go buy those products. Maybe they don't. So it's kind of like, you know, they, they don't, it's more like for the people who want to be advertised on commercials, but there's only the big companies being advertised on the commercials. So, so it's just this big scam that, that, that the American public never knew about. And they're all mostly my companies anyway. So, and it's mostly just being paid by the taxpayers. So, so it's this great big huge scam. 